Hello, 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 and welcome again to another Imperium Galactic Survival video. I do apologize for any audio differences that you may uh, hear, because the uh, last few episodes I recorded in the night, so I was trying to stay uh, decently quiet but loud enough so that you can hear me, uh, because I have family. Uh, I live with family, that is. So everybody was already in bed. I was still up and around doing recording, so I I think you all might understand that. Uh, I am also constantly trying to rebalance my audio to try and make sure that you all can hear me. Uh, I noticed that in the previous videos that my voice would cut out too soon, but it could also be because of my quiet whisper of sorts. Uh, but I've also rebalanced some of my audio filters to see if that would better, you know, not just stop cutting out, but bring my voice out a little more so that it's not as quiet. And also, um, I don't know what I'll be doing as for background noise because uh, I'm consistently getting copyright claims because of the Imperion music that is being used inside the game. There is one particular track that is very similar to another track that was for a horror film, I guess? So, as for now, I will not be utilizing the Imperion Galactic Survival's uh, in-game music. If I do incorporate any music, I will try and see if the music that I've created using FL Studio would fit the bill. If not, well, then you're probably just going to have to listen to the game sound effects and my voice only, sadly. I, I, I wish that I could use the music without getting copyright claimed. And it's not bad or anything, because it's just, it prevents me from monetizing, but I don't have the ability to monetize, so it's not going to affect me in any way. But... I do dislike getting copyright claims because copyright is not very not a very good thing to commit. So I would like to try any way to prevent uh, getting copyright claims because it could further lead to possible copyright strikes. So I would I did turn off the music for that purpose. And anyway. Now that all that's done, uh, as we stopped off in the last episode, we have created the base, and I showed you around. We got the SV cabin up there. Uh, we got the HV area down here, but we've also got a few machines that we're utilizing. Uh, I did just make some ammunition. However, I might need to make more for the auto cannon. I am going to transfer these over to um, the ammo box so that the base has some ammunition because I do hear that there are some pretty rough customers in, t in the form of really tough drones and it looks like we're out of steel plates. Now that won't be too much of an issue. So we're just going to... Uh, Oh, what am I doing? We're just going to claim this uh, hover vessel and head on out. I do feel the audio is slightly loud, so I'm just going to turn it down a smidge. Just a little bit more. Just so that it's not overpowering. Because this game can get quite loud. Alright. So, let's see here. Ah, that's right. We still got the abandoned uh, vessel yard that we can scrap up for plenty of materials. So, that's what we'll go and do. So there's plenty of metal that we can make use of uh, for <laughs> making ammunition. 
Uh, I want to salvage. I don't want the chance of reclaiming. I'm still gonna try and uh, make the most out of this tier 1 multi-tool, since it's still got ammo left in it. I also need to look inside the base and um, claim any leftover material that is inside containers and such like that. I'm going to shove most of the stuff in there. I also need to put food in here that I'm not readily going to eat. Um, I'd rather keep the purified water on me. Promethium ore. I'll just slap back in here. It's taking up most of my... Oh, it's the, these drills. Those drills take up quite a bit of space. I'm also going to shove that in there, shove that in there, that in there. I don't really need it right now. Alright. Let's start scrapping up these metal and steel plates because we're out of those. We could use it to make some more base ammunition. Because we're definitely definitely going to want to defend our base from whatever terror is coming our way eventually. The Xerax and Reforged Eden, I hear, are no joke. Their AI is supposed to be smarter, so we'll find out how smart. Also, uh, I can just access the base from here, can't I? Or is it because I don't own I don't own the base, so I need to make a core. I don't think I've got the required resources to make a core from right here. No, I don't. So I'm gonna have to go in and do some scrapping. Also, um what I'm gonna do here real quick is set the spotlight on the no touchy because I want that well no I'll disable that separately uh, I want to try and disable certain things separately from new flight eh, and I believe that's Don's way of saying no new new flight which is a funny way I like that um, hopper engines are also on new flight, so I could just turn that off, conserve some power right there, and I'll just hop in here and, oops, I just wanted to turn off the light, but, uh, that did it for me, anyways, let's go back up in this base and start salvaging whatever important material that we can. Oh, not upgrade, I'm gonna salvage. There's a lot of stuff here we can salvage. We'll definitely get a lot of metal plates. So oh, what's this? Metal plates. Optical fiber. Electronics. Carbon. However, there's a there's a ready-to-go constructor right here, and that's what I do want to reclaim for my base. So, I want to leave that there until I get a core. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna start scrapping up all this stuff. Pick up what we can. Because these containers already contain just what we want, which is steel plates. Alright. Um. Ah, uh, I can leave a few steel plates behind. I just need to go. Oh, fudge. Oh, okay. Well, 
I was lucky to have not damaged myself from that fall. Typically that happens. And this... This part of the inventory is already getting full. Alright. Um... Do I, do I have enough to make a core now? Can I make a core now? No, we lack some of the electronics. It shouldn't be too hard to get. I could scrap this elevator, but it's kind of handy right now. I'll just go into the building and scrap some other electronics. Like, oh, oh, like these solar capacitors. Perfect. All right, that should be plenty of electronics to make a brand new core. Yep. And off to the races we go. Once I um, get that core ready, I should be able to attach the uh, heavy or uh, hover vessel to the base, and I can more easily access its inventory without needing to uh, approach it myself. See how far it's gone? Oh, it's ready. I'm just gonna slap the core anywhere we want. Now the base is ours. Now I can turn the thrusters back on. I'm going to come in from behind. Or maybe this is the front of the building. I'm just going to park it right here on this landing pad. There. Now it is attached. We're going to turn the thrusters back off. Whatever else is attached to no touchy. Alright. Hmm. What's that red light? Oh, it's coming from those lamps over there. Okay. Now that we have access to this base, we can also access its cargo just from where we're standing right now. In fact, I will just... I'll access the cargo bus right here. We won't have enough storage to store everything in this one cargo container, but we'll try our best. It's getting pretty full now. Yep, getting close. Cargo pallet. One, two. Yep. We'll have to move on to, let's say, the ammunition container. Because it isn't really being used quite yet. Some closets. Motorbike construction kit. We can actually sell that for a fair amount of uh, credits if we wanted to. Which we probably should. However, I know that we'll get quite a few credits as we go in the fight zero axe and do other things like in invade bigger and bigger uh, points of interest. Points of interest. Excuse me. I had a hiccup there. Okay. Next container. Throw stuff in the harvest container. Large logistics container. Right. Uh, output CC. And reinforced. So now, this base is completely looted. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Hiccups. Uh, except for any hidden containers, which I may have not seen yet. So, we're going to definitely... Oh snap! I 
I reloaded the multi-tool. Oh well, screw it. I can make more. I, I just want to use this level 2 because it's just so much faster. Oh, that's right. I can retrieve this constructor now. Oh, um... Okay. Cargo bus. Uh, industrial container. Uh oh. Um, this thing weighs a ton. Uh, okay, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shove everything I've got to the cargo bus because. I didn't think about how heavy this thing was going to be. Oh dear me, I may have screwed up now. Um, well frick. Okay, so another thing I can do is cargo bus container A. I'm just going to shove everything into these other containers as much as I can. Perfect. Uh, we'll go back to container A. Ammunition container. Or player inventory. Blink. Oh, man. Why can't I pick this up? I thought... Um, hmm. Well, that's just too bad. It'll be removed in one minute, too. Huh. Well, what do you know? Okay, well, I missed out on a large constructor. My bad. So sad. Now I gotta get my stuff back in order. Unlink. Okay, I got what I need. I need a, well, I need my shotgun shells, of course. Well, don't do what I did, folks, because uh, apparently it's just too damn heavy. I should have known that. I should have really known that. But you live and learn, you know what they say? Uh, let's see. Oh. A fixed tank. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, we've still got containers to open up for small other things. Can I, uh... Maybe I can still link to, uh... The container controller here. Uh, there was supposed to be a way to change your hot bar. Which key is it? Ah, it's T. Okay. Press T to change your hot bar. And now everything's going to the, uh, oh, uh, the cargo bus, which is good. That's the way I wanted it. I've not used the, uh, wireless system. Because I've always been used to playing the game without any weight or um, volume. Because the game was... I can't remember what alpha it was, but the, uh, the game was in such a younger state that I... Uh, that weight... That... Uh, weight and volume wasn't really a thing, I believe. It was, uh, it was still a work in progress kind of thing, and CPU was definitely not around at the time that I started playing. So I'm definitely experiencing weight and volume with a fresh pair of eyes, you might say. Uh, I mean, can I, can I retrieve that? 
Yeah, I can. So I got another small constructor out of this. At least there's something, right? Okay, we're gonna scrap. Oh wow, that's a lot of cobalt. I could just get cobalt just from scrapping up oxygen tanks, which is nice. Lots of sathium plates. How full is it? It's getting there. But this, yep, there it goes. And yeah, we're gonna have to link to another. Nope, that's too full. That one can carry some things. Some good materials there. So, yeah, I could spend all day scrapping this place up, but I'm just grabbing anything and everything that's out in front of me, technology-wise. Containers, that too. Uh, container controller? I do need to go back down, because there is a whole bunch of other stuff that I get to scrap up. So we'll go back down here, turn on some lights. What, what the heck is this? Well, that's one way of getting xenon material. Xenon material is also supposed to be a really strong block type. But you have to be aware of the radiation that it emits. You have to wear proper protection against it. How full is this container? It's getting there. No two station. I could use that. Then again. Inventory full. Unlink. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gotta get used to the system. I shove material in there. Can I pick it up now? Yes, I can. It weighs like a brick. Um, let's find a new container. This won't be able to store very much. It can't even carry that. Eh. Mm. Yeah. The cargo bus might need a bit of a uh, extra extra upgrades. I know that uh, Don Bab over at Dead Dex Play Games uh, has been upgrading his version of it, so I'm eventually going to have to do the same. Oopsie. Gosh. I can't hardly carry anything. Um, let's try and throw some more material material around here. Change it to the harvest. Oh, that's a completely empty. Can I? No, you're 595 kilograms. That's why you're just too damn heavy. Um, screw it. Actually, I'll just place it down and scrap it because it's just too dang heavy. It's just too dang heavy. As much as I'd like to keep it, again, it's just too dang heavy. All right, uh, pick all that up. Did I grab all of it? Yes, I did. What's this? Four electronics. I don't have enough inventory. Go swap back to the player here, cargo bus there. Um, put as much as I can there. Not, not my shotgun shells. Ammunition. Harvest. There is an empty cargo container here. So I'm just show what I can there. Those electronics. Uh. 
oxygen, hydrogen, it's hydrogen, right? It's hydrogen. Ooh, hefty water containers. Alright. Just picking up all the small stuff that I've left behind. Um, carbon. No, carbon's too light. Wouldn't create any space. Okay. Let's. Is there any? Yes. There happens to be some more inventory space. where the core used to be. I do want to take those ingots, yes. Those are very valuable, especially the titanium ingots. I do want to scrap this technology. Um, to have the space for it is the problem. Ooh. That's enough. Um, damn. I got empty my inventory some more. And I'm gaining in radiation, but I can clear that off. As long as I don't get too high up the bar, where it will cause radiation sickness. Alright. What is weighing the most? Oh, it must be these electronics. Anyways, let's see. No fuel. Oh. Promethium hydrocell. That's that's some good fuel right there. Uh let's see. Okay, we can scrap these. Not too much an issue. They're getting hefty already. Ooh. One more. Ooh. Plastic tubes. Um. I'm gonna shove my ammunition. Oh, I don't need any of this ammunition. I think that's all the containers I've got. They're all chock full of whatever I've got. I could shove some things. I mean, that helps a little bit. And we're already uh, full on stuff again. You know what? I could start working towards my small vessel. The Terra Drifter, I call it. So I'm just going to shove some material here and there. Ironing it. Tubes. Motor. Electronics. Yep. This will free up some space. As long as it's being put to good use. I'm surprised I'm able to carry all those ingots. In fact, I could probably shove them here. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. However, I want to preserve the copper because I need to make ammo with that. My radiation is getting pretty high, so I think I'm going to leave. I don't think there's a shower here, is there? If there is a shower, then I can get rid of this radiation pretty easily. Let's take a peek, see. What's this? Oh, cargo extension.
There's another oxygen tank. I can scrap that. More cobalt and energy regulators. Those are some intermediate materials. I do not think that there is a shower in this base. Which is a crying shame because it's basically free radiation removal. That's fine. I've got radiation medication in case if I get too much on me. For now, we need to uh, leave back to base and do a bit of uh, crafting. And then we'll go out and explore a bit more. There we go. Alright, where is the base? I need to permanently mark this base. Waypoint, show on hood. That's home. Just call it base. Oh yeah. It's taking a moment to uh, turn, that's for sure. I haven't used pilot mode because it would just be too much hassle to try and use my uh, trackball to turn it. Alright. Once we dump off all of our material, we'll start work on some more of that heavy turret ammunition. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Had to use the base just to stop me there. I couldn't, I couldn't slow down. How are we doing on solar power? Because last I checked, the solar panels were actually in the green. And really good, too. For being in multiple different positions. Did I just turn the base off? Thank you. Why did that shut down? Okay, going to access this cargo container, access the cargo bus, this, yeah, there we go. Alright, we're just gonna shove everything there. I am going to, uh, place that somewhere. Oh, uh, okay, fine. Move that back. Harvest container. Shove it all in there. Industrial container. Just the repeating process until I get it all cleared out. My goodness, bases can carry so much. I mean, look at that. Like 120,000 volume. That's crazy. Eventually, when I get a capital vessel, it'll be able to carry a fair amount of weight itself. But right now, we are not quite capable of a capital vessel just yet. And we're going to access the freezer and shove some of this there. And eat some grilled steak, because we are a little bit hungry. Actually, that might be a little too much ammo. And... Why isn't it crafting it? That's because I shut the base off. Yeah, go figure. That would happen. Alright. So I need about... One, two, three, let's go 15. Probably want to make more of these rounds. They're not that expensive. 
they just, well, they don't require copper. Or, I mean, they require copper, unlike these rounds, so. They do require some steel plates. I have got a decent steel plates. I'll craft up, like, another 4,000, 127 millimeter rounds. This should do. This should definitely do. Um, let's see. As for this cargo bus, I think when I uh, start doing some things off camera, I'll give it an upgrade. As for now, we'll just leave it where it's at. And actually, it's becoming nighttime, isn't it? So, it is time to pitch the tent. Sleep until morning. And it's a bright new day on uh, the planet. What is this planet called, anyways? Akua. Bright new day on the planet Akua. Our crafting should be done, too. It made four rounds. Did we run out of. I should have known we'd run out of something. Um, that means we've run out of wood, didn't we? Well, let's see, what's the material? Plant fibers, yep. All right then, that's easy enough. Did decide to live near water for uh, liquid and oxygen production, but we also live near a little forest. capacity. Alright, can I just carry that wood? Uh, where'd it go? Did it just fall through the floor or something? Oh, I guess it did. Well, that's a shame. We're just going to park it here in the middle of the doorway. Can anyways. There we go. Okay, yeah, it's just gonna casually cut my vehicle in half. <laughs> That's uh, that is definitely rather strange. All right, we're going to access the cargo, cargo harvest container. Difficult to check. Container controller. Hold that in. First, I mean, we've got 400 rounds. That's not rapid fi fire rounds like these are. These are like auto cannon. So it fires one, one round at a time. Sorry about the hiccups. Whew. It got me today. We want these rounds to be made. And how much of this material does it make? 20. Okay. Let's go harvest some extra wood. Okay, that was a trip. Maybe I won't do that next time. <laughs> it's a little funky as it is. I love this little harvesting module. Just chops down trees so fast. Perfect. All right. It's not intersecting in any way. 
Cargo bus, harvest controller. There. Yeah. We're gonna have plenty of ammunition for this thing. What's the bases? Base power is. It's doing alright. Are we getting any solar? Oh, we're getting solar. Uh, statistics. Fuel based energy. Yeah, we're still training. Average current output is 273. It's increasing. I think the only issue is even though it rates for green, uh, it's not gonna get the same amount of light during a time of day, see? Uh, I think what we'd best be doing is taking these off and scattering them across the ground here. So I think that's what we're going to do real quick. We're just going to... Oh. Well, excuse me. Let me uh, empty my inventory then. Shove fuel in there too. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. I've got a small constructor that I just need to place down. I'm just gonna turn this one off because it's not gonna be used at the moment. That way it disables any power that's current currently running through it. And these don't weigh too, too much, so I can carry a, quite a few of these. Checking it regularly, so that I don't drop one. Alright, so now I'll press N. I want to make sure to connect to the base, that way I can place stuff like this out here. And I think I want a flat solar panel because I think it might collect the most light in this kind of situation. Uh, not quite, not quite. Is there any difference if I use these? No, not quite. So maybe we will want to stick with angled solar panels. Maybe slightly lowered uh, angle. Mm. However, this is also risky because I could risk destroying the solar panel. So, what I'm going to do, it looks like it has made the ammunition. Did we run out of copper ingot? No, we didn't. I guess that was uh, a little less than I expected. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, what we want to do, let's make some blocks. Uh, we can just make some blocks out of carbon composite, so we'll make about 50 blocks. We're going to use this as a base for our solar panels. I say our, even though it's just me, but I feel like if you guys are watching, we're all included in this, you know? <laughs> I guess I kind of have a feeling about that, but that's just me, probably. So, when I refer to our, I try to refer to everybody who's watching along with. We're going to take the blocks that are currently ready-made. Oh! So this is the part where I get used to a particular system that I haven't used yet. Uh, and that is another thing about wirelessly connecting. 
to uh, the base and wait, where is this outputting? Oh, no friggin' wonder. To outputting into the ammo container. I don't want that. So I'm gonna wirelessly connect to this base of storage and have access to these blocks remotely. I think the base... No. Okay. So, we are lacking wireless. So we're gonna need to make some wireless blocks. Do we have that unlocked in the skill tree? Um... Need to be unlocked? Or is it under miscellaneous? We definitely want that. Oxygen extractor will be helpful. Auto mining device. Ah, here we go. Wireless connection. Now we want to make some wireless blocks. You can have up to 10 of them, so we'll just make 10 of them. I kind of forget to include wireless connectors in my builds because it can be so helpful. Because you can be able to connect to your uh, base, your capital vessel, or small vessel, or even your hovercraft from a pretty good clip away. Alright. Let's just find a place to stick this somewhere. There is some free space right around here, so we can just... Well, kind of, but we can still stick it there. Don't break a leg. Alright. We can attach the wireless devices elsewhere, but I think that should do it for what I need. Yeah, that, that helps majorly. Okay, so I'm going to add a base plate right about here. We're going to drag it out a little bit. This might be a bit too much for what I've got currently. Yep, that's pretty alright. Take the solar panels. Rotate around. Wow, that's actually a perfect size. And what's this like? Hmm. Improper angle, maybe. We'll try it again, but at a different angle. That's better. I think that's going to be a better average. Let's see what happens if I do it this way. I think I'm going to make it easier if I suddenly use this build. No, that's not going to be any better. So we want it facing outwards that way. I do this here. Oh, that's right. Um. We're gonna have to reclaim this because we're too close to the border of the world. So, yeah, it's gonna cause some issues. So, I'm gonna try and pull it back 
because it only needs one extra layer back here. Find that block. Like that. Well, I want it in this location, but I want it perfectly lined up behind the other solar panel. Perfect. And we'll just continue working towards the base with even more solar panels. I don't I think I'll reclaim the blocks here. Just conserve. Because that'll help use less blocks than what's actually needed. So five blocks out. Three, four, five. Also, it still at least physically makes sense, other than floating. Yeah, this is going to be the most the most profitable in uh, solar panel energy. I can continue from here and add blocks later. At least, if I want to make it make a little more sense, but right now we are trying to make bank on some energy. I don't quite care if I mess this terrain up a little bit. I just want to reveal the counters. Not gonna look pretty, but it's gonna do what it needs to do. Now, what's the uh, power generation like? That's much better, and we're actually gaining battery, which means we shouldn't be using any fuel. Well, I guess we are. 267 watts of fuel. I wonder if it's using half of this or all of it. Current output. Or maybe this is how much it would consume. Hmm. That's a curious thought. Makes you wonder. Okay. Oh, that's right, we need to go do the other solar panels. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I didn't even see that. The base is kind of floating off. I hope it's still structurally sound. It's still structurally sound. Okay. Whatever works, I say. And I think I'm just gonna put this whole new layer of solar panels right in front. It's T. Provide the same amount of energy as the others are. And then I'm just gonna dig a little bit on the side and see the counter. Again, I don't care if the uh, ground looks pretty or not. Eventually, when you get a hold of the capital ship, you're gonna wind up probably leaving this planet to go find something a lot more interesting.
It's all reading as three, so that's pretty good. Which means we're getting the most efficient use out of our solar panels. I don't know if at this current time or if at all times. If at all times, then that would be amazing. Then that means we can uh, passively use solar energy versus using up all the fuel that we've got. Alright, now we're going to take a look at our statistics again. Now we are generating a current output of 700 plus watts. That's pretty good. And the battery is definitely charging. Again, I don't know if it's actually drawing fuel from the fuel tank. It may not be since there's solar energy. But if it's drawing any fuel out from the fuel tank, it's not drawing out much. The generator sits down below here generating what it can from the fuel given to it. But doesn't seem to have budged, so I'm going to guess that the solar energy is currently being used over the fuel. Yep. Alright, so the solar panels are doing quite fine. Uh, I think I'm going to place the rest of these Wi-Fi add-ons here and here. Should now be able to access the base from a pretty far distance. And uh, yeah, going to call that an episode didn't do too, too much, kind of the same thing, did some scrapping of the base, uh, some minor touch-ups here and there, but uh, I think I will uh, probably go out, get some material, or do some other stuff off camera, so that way I can minimize the repetition of the uh, daily duties I do here in the game so that I don't bore anybody. I don't know if you guys find repetition fun or anything, but I know that if I do the same thing and you expect something different in a video, it may not be as fun. And I feel that. So I'll try my best to provide more unique videos, but I'm, I'm still progressing uh, through this survival experience so but i mean hey it looks like a base i mean we got freaking solar panel farm we've got this big old base that's ready to store vehicles uh it's probably going to stay here of all for all time because eventually i'll probably just want to er eradicate all xerax on this planet if there's any xerax that is but uh that's what i like to do i like to eradicate them then I have a planet that's practically all mine with a few factions still sitting on it. Anyways, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you like it, I hope you continue watching because I'm enjoying this so far and I hope you are enjoying it. And, uh, yeah. Doing good so far. I hope you are too. I hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good night. Whichever time zone you may live in. And see you next episode.